I was really surprised, first of all. I have been enjoying science with all my students. And actually, I have had some kind of record in America. If you look at the faculty member, professors in major university, so-called famous research university, like MIT, Caltech, Berkeley, or the Chicago, Columbia, Cornell, I have students, former students in all those universities among chemistry faculty. I learned that they, I produce more professors for American university than anybody else. So I, I really enjoy doing science and by the time in the 1980s, we know that we are doing the best because we see many chemical reactions and many things nobody else in the world can do. So we are very happy that they, we are leading the world and people from Europe, from Japan, came to do postdoctoral research. And they was really, as a scientist, knowing that you are doing well is quite satisfactory. But 1986, I received an award from Chemical Society, Peter DeBay, or White House. At the time, I was a US citizen, gave me the National Medal of Sciences. And then, Nobel Foundation gave me a Nobel Prize. At the same time, Wolf Foundation in Israel also wanted to give me the prize, and I was really surprised. But life suddenly changed. I was a very shy person. I, even if I see a lady, my, my face become red, and I, I was very, very shy. But after the prize, I have to be on the limelight in the limelight so often to give after dinner speech and then gradually I got used to it. But I remember during the first three months, I suffered so much. So my wife said, Yuan, you enjoy so much working in the laboratory with students. Why you have to come to, to be a dinner, after dinner spe speakers? And she suggested, maybe we should return return the prize to Nobel Foundation, <laughs> then you can go back to the laboratory. Well, 